Okay, so I just got the tire off. This is what the rotor looks like. It's nice and smooth. And if you can see from here, it's not indented. It's smooth all the way across. And the new part, so this is a Mazda rotor you can see here it says minimum thickness eight millimeters so that's saying that once this gets to eight it needs to be replaced otherwise it's not safe this right now is measuring 10 as measured with a micrometer this one here we measured as well and it is 8.7 so it is not yet at its minimum thickness it still has quite a ways to go considering that there's 135,000 miles on this car and the rotors have never been changed. So 0.7 millimeters, we still have a lot of life in this, a lot of miles to go. And like I said, this is super smooth. This is not rigid at all. And the car is not driving like it needs to be replaced either. I only went to replace this because Riverside Mazda dealership technicians told me that it needs to be replaced after I paid them $50 to examine the brakes. They told me that the brake pads needed to be replaced as well. So you can see here, the brake pads in there, that would be that part and that part. And that is really thick. I mean, these brake pads have a lot of life in them as well. So um, basically, they have lied to me. Thank you, Riverside Mazda, for lying to me and wanting to take my $1,000 for nothing. So note to self, Riverside California Mazda, don't go there. They'll rip you off. Okay, bye now.